Hi guys and welcome to Tournament Management System Develop in Python. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how this works. Here we have uh, four teams in total and on each team we have five contestants. Okay, so I'm going to just reset the whole process so that you see how each contestant score are added. I'm going to click on reset. So you can always say no, you don't want to reset. No, yes, you can reset. So let's add the first contestants, and that is it. And you can see as soon as you add, you get their total score there. The same thing applies to the second one here. Okay, guys, so that is how it works. And so on you can see that this guy is actually this team team number two is actually winning or leading now okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you guys straight into python development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that and just for your information this is at a request of one of my viewers out there All right let's do that but before that, just this point below, those are the winning points. Point one, two, and three. So let's reset. Yeah. Exit out. Yes. And that's it. Let's click on exit. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is to start with a new project entirely but first of all we need to import the following let's just say import that is going to be from tkinter rtk then we also need to import let's say from tkinter import it all import let's import message box for now Okay, now finally, I'm also going to say from ticking tile, let's import TTK. Let's just say TTK. Good. Now, I'm going to create a class, and this class I might as well just call it tournament. There we go, tournament and tournaments taking the following argument tk dot tk. You notice this is lowercase and this is in uppercase. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is to define our let's say define space space initialize the following and that is going to be self now i'm going to be using super a super function that will return a temporary storage for me there let's say super function dot initialize let's just say Okay, now that that is set, I'm going to set the following. Let's set geometry. I'm going to say self dot geometry. I'm just going to make that for mine. For the width and so on. Let's say about maybe 1,400. Okay, by I'm going to make that about 860. There we go. So that's the size of my system. There now, let me define minimum size and max maximum size as well. So this is going to be for the minimum and the maximum. There we go. So here I'm just going to say set dot minimum size. and for the maximum size as well 
we're going to say max size there we go that's nice so the next thing i want to do now is let me also add the title so the title i'll just say self dot title and i'll call that uh, tournament scoring system or tournament management system okay tournament management system that is going to be the name of my title but before i go any further i might as well just save this thing so that i don't end up with an error so let's just call it tournament system or tournament app that will do save all right so i might as well just run this up and try it out i want to see the size so i'm going to come down here using an if statement if underscore underscore name and the name in this case is going to be underscore underscore equals equals let's say main underscore underscore main underscore underscore there and my app name is comments that you're looking at here app equals ornament enter parentheses then i'm going to come down here and just say app dot main loop there we go there but before i can do anything i notice you see here that's supposed to be uppercase t and lowercase k there there we go and here as well i made a mistake here because i copied it across so that shouldn't be there this should be comma there okay that's how you create your minimum and you use the same method for maximum as well there we go okay so I'm going to try that out now. Let's hope I don't have any more errors. So I'm going to come here, let's save it. Now click on run. There we go. That is my form ready. All right, so let's exit out. Okay, I'm going to now initialize some points that I intend to use. So let's just say that is going to be self dot points. That is going to be for the score and these points I might as well put it in an array and that's going to be 25. Well now we can say 18 comma and 15. So that is taken care of. All right, so I'm now going to also create some variables to store the scores and total. So let's first of all start by just saying self dot. So that's going to be for the first one, first dot t. Let's say t1, that's for team one. And I'm going to call this team one score. Team one score that is going to be tk dot string variable and that is going to take in the value of zero there we go and i'm just going to enter zero in there and let's use four whatever is in the it should be in the range of five yeah there's a uh, five in there so that is for team one okay because there's an error here this should be bracket there all right so that's the very first one i'm going to just copy this since i have four teams in total so i'll just change it around 
There we go. Repeat the same thing here. So let's just change the names here. That that is going to be four, three, two. Okay, team one, two, three, four. All right, and the value for them is five each. Five uh, contestants in there. Okay then. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to now create another one for the total so for the total underneath so i'm just going to maybe just copy one of these i'll copy all of this and change name round yeah and delete what i don't need paste and this one is going to become team total That's total. And I really don't need this anymore, so get rid of that. That is, I'm now declaring the variables that we actually store the totals. There we go. Yeah, I think it's right, there's no error. Okay, now the next thing is the variable that we actually store this, or let's say the entry, entry feed for the customers, okay? Entry feed for the customers, so self.txt, so let's create that and I'll call them individually. So let's come down here. I'll call that uh, self dot txt point point one as equals. Let's just grab all of all of these. Paste it in there. And the score for point one, as you can see, is 25. So I'm going to enter 25 there. Let's copy this. So that's for point number two and three. Change this to two, three. And this would be 15. And this is 18. Okay, looking good so far. I might as well just do one thing now. Let's come in here and just uh, um, create my font. So for the font, let's add that underneath here. So it's going to be self dot fonts. No, for this, let's specify that of the Tie to first self dot tie to underscore font that is gonna be equals I'm going to call that area comma I'm gonna make it five about forty comma and also make it bold there we go right now the next thing is for the components let's just copy this i'm going to be using different font size or every single component so this is going to be components let's just enter component from there component font maybe make the size about 14 yeah, 14 bold. Very good. All right, then. So I'm now going to start work with the widgets. But before I do that, let me save this and just run it 
before I start to work with the widget, I just want to be sure that it's working here yeah, very good. There's no error, and we still have a form. Or we still have a form. Okay, so let's start to work with the widget. First of all, I'm going to create the widget object here, just called ourself. Let's create underscore widget. Yeah, that would do. We do. Okay, so this is my widget here now. I'm going to call that widget. Let's come in here and just say define the following. And that is going to be self. Now, create a title for me. So I'm going to call that T. Okay, let's just call it I2 underscore label. That's going to be equals TK dot label. That's the widget. And this is going to be inside self. And what do we have in there? This is the title. So this is the title that you see up here. But this is going to be the title that will be displayed up here. So let's come in right here and just say text. That is equals that. Okay. The next thing is I'm going to grab hold of my title here. The that is it for my fonts. So the font in this case is already defined. All I just need to do is to specify font is going to be equals that. Okay, you can do it like that if you want, and you can do it the other way around. So let's run this up now. Let's come right down here and then say. Title itself is going to be dots. I want you to get it hugged. And let's put a padding of about 20. There we go. And make sure it's saved. Okay, now let's try this out. I need to maintain enter comma there, else there will be an error. So let's go back in here, run. We have to save it first, though. There we go. Look at that. That's my title. Okay. You can. And one other thing you can do is, you see, instead of just calling your variable that you've already created here, if you like, you can just copy all of this. Whatever title you want. The choice is yours. So those are two different ways of getting that sorted. Okay. So I'm going to run that as well. There we go. You get that, guys, right? So that's another way out, okay? So you can leave it like this, or you can just copy this. The choice is yours. All right, that's taken care of. Now I need to start create, start work with some frames. So okay, first of all, let's create a frame to hold all of the team score and I want it to be side by side I will also create another frame okay for the yeah let's create that to the team first let's come down here let's just say frame and that is gonna be equals tk dot frame and that is going to be self. Now I'm going to get it packed. Frame dot pack. On what size that is going to be? X axis. I'm going to make that 100. Y axis. I'm going to make that equal zero. Oh. Let's, let's put one there for now. 
you can always change it around. Then I would like you to get filled on both sides equals both. Then get it expand, that's going to be equals true. Close that. All right, first one is taken care of. Not was for PDs and just call it point underscore frame. It's for the, the frames for the points. And you will say points with an S. Okay, and there now, get it part as well. Dot pack, we can just make that. I'll get rid of this. Um, so dot pack that is going to be y axis. I'm going to make that about 10. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to create my widget for the points. Let's say tk dot label, and that's going to be for the points here. Dump that in there. Comma. And I also want you to display a text, and that text is just going to be points one. Close that out. Then let's grab all of this self dot component. That's the font. The comma there. Have the font in there that's supposed to be font equals that equals self dot components right dot breed so the first one is going to be rule equals zero and column is going to be zero. and strictly to the east equals the row first one is done then I also want the text box that will be displayed okay let's see hopefully this should work oh let's see what did I do wrong there hold on I did not enter a value for my column. That should have been zero. Yeah. I'm going to save that and run it. Let's say I should be able to see the label. Move this up. Here we go. Look at the label. Can you guys see that? Yeah. That's for number one. Now close that. And I also need to add a label. No, a text box, not a label text box so side it is going to be text entry no it's called entry it's not it's called entry entry it's going to be here and it's going to grab all of the text variable yeah text variable And this text variable is point one, this very one up here. So dot point one equals that. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Come on. Let's make the width a little bit small. I'm gonna make that about five. 
comma and fonts. Is that in there? The font is going to be the same. And let's just grab all of all of these. But I'll then make these to the west. Yeah. W. Okay. So I'm going to run it. Yes, let's see how that looks like. Hopefully. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. What's column should be one. Let's change this column to one. Because I copied it. That's why. That's one. Now run. There we go, guys. Look at that. Okay. See that? All right. That's fine. So I can just copy this now. All right. I have three different points. That's point number one. So, like I said, I can always. I'm just experimenting. Okay, that's fine. Make sure you call each of the variable that I declared up, the, up there. Alright. So that's where the value is. So now run. There we go. Look at that. See that? Yeah, I guess you guys can see it. That is fine. I'm going to exit out and uh, let's let's just add a button two buttons actually so i'm going to call this button underscore frame and this one is going to be using the following widgets tk dot frame and the frame is going to be right inside cells now i'm going to Pack this bottom frame. Bottom frame dot pack. And let's get it parted about. Let's make that about 40. Okay. Now the very first button i'd like to create so let that be the reset so let's come down here and just say btn resets and that's going to be tk dot button and is going to be inside button frame comma the text content that needs that is going to be equals let's call it reset add a comma and what about the font i can always use these same fonts i can use this so i'm going to grab hold of that Or it might be too small. That's one other thing. So let's let's just. I'm going to use this one. Grab hold of that and just paste that in here. Okay, that is going to be for my font. And the next thing, let's specify the width. I'm going to make that about twenty. Close that off and change this to about 30. Right. So let's round up this very one. And let's just get it packed. So that pack and is going to be let's say size equals TK dot left comma and get it parted 
bit above to the x axis with about five. Yeah, I think that should do. Let's let's save that and see. Save and run. Here we go. There's a button there. Look at that. So at the same time, just going to count like let's change the back color. BG that is going to be equals to that blue. Right. Yeah, let's try that out. There we go, guys. Look at that. Okay. And that's. So I'm just going to copy this. Paste it right underneath here for exit. And change this to exit. Okay. There we go. All right. For the exit, it's going to be five as well, so that's fine. So let's run it and see how that's going to look like. Run. There we go, guys. Okay, that's exit done. So I'm going to exit out. All right. Now let's work on the group box. So maybe I should put that here or maybe right underneath here. So let's go down here. So I'm just going to say self dot group. Underscore box. And that's equals. Okay, so for the group box, I'm going to use a for loop. So let's say for. For team number, so I'm going to have in total, I'll have about four of those for team in the, in the range of one to five. Now for this group box, let's just say as follows. Uh, put a space in here. And you guys can see what I'm up to here. Okay, for the group box, this is the group box. And in there we have team number one. That's team. That will give me the number. Okay, and this will be... Just call team one score something like that, and so on. This is the padding in between the x axis, the y axis padding, and the font size, which was declared right up here. Fourteen. You can always increase the font if you want or whatever you want, just like I did here. Okay. Now, this is where I ran it all up. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come right down here and just get it appended. So I don't know if 14 will be good enough, but for now, let's see. Now, let's add a component straight into the group box. So first of all, I'm going to come in here and just say score. Cool, that is going to be new course. Get. That should be get that. Right. And that's going to be self, comma, 
it's going to be for the first school box it's a T and um, number team number school so let's just couple of them it's the right there and close that off okay now let's use a for loop grab hold of this for loop right there and I've changed the name of these two school let's say score number So the score number is going to range from one to five, and I also need a label on it though. So let's just put our label in here for now. So let's say TK label, and that's going to be inside the group box. let's just enter the comma there and the text and so on okay so this should give me the label showing this score that will range up to five so let's let's try this out i'm going to come in here now run there we go look at that okay so all that is left for me to do now is to add Homebook box. So let's come right underneath here and add Homebook box in there. For space C M B. That is going to be post T T K dot Homebook box. So that's going to be inside the box as well and the states that's going to be equals read only the value is going to be as follows let's start with zero now that should be square bracket zero comma one two three four and five so that's the value that i want inside it and i'm just going to copy this the font dump it right here font is taken care of so let's run it up First of all, C M B dot the current value that we have here that will be zero. Okay. Now we need to get it done. Dot find and that's going to be combo box select. So on the condition that is selected, we want it to do as follows. Close that off. Comma. Let's use lambda. Lambda. And there's a T N that's going to be E equals T number. T N underscore number and SN that's going to be equal score number as well okay score number place that there there should be a comma here okay 
into a semicolon, semicolon, or column, I mean. So I'm going to now say self dot on on school. Let's say on school. Change as follows. Tn comma sn comma e. Now get it part dot part there. Okay, so that is taken care of, but all of this will not do anything yet because I still need to create this very function here. But if you guys want to be sure that it's working, I'm going to just comment this out now. And let's run it, you see what I'm talking about. You should be able to see all of the combo box. Look at that. Those are the combo box. Okay. Once you select, you can enter whatever you want to enter. Okay. So that's fine. Close that. And get rid of the comments. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add a label. So, if you can just grab hold of this very one here. And paste it right underneath here. LBL equals as follows. And it's going to actually be a child of good box. There we go. Then it's going to be using. I'm going to get rid of this because I want to use variables. Take variable. That's going to be the score. Just a score underscore num. Okay, and let's get it out. LBL dot plan. Okay, let's try that out. So I'm going to come in here and just First of all, let me comment this out, else there will be an error. And I just want to see how this label will work now. So go back here, run, save and run. There we go, look at that. Okay, you see that? All right, so we have all the labels in place. So if, you, if you're not sure, if I comment it out, you will understand what I'm talking about now. Save and run. Again. You see? The labels are all gone so now you know the purpose of this so let's get rid of that get rid of this get rid of this okay so that's fine now the next thing i'm going to do again is uh, i'm going to add some more labels so let's go for label again. So I'm just going to call that label. Let's grab hold of all of these. Paste. So add a space in between. It's inside the group box. And this time around, that's going to be for total and so on. So I'm going to get rid of this. So let's come in here and just say total. So that's where the total value will be displayed. And I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need that here. Get it packed. Not packed. That's good. Now, take that. 
All right, let's try out this. This should give us total inside all of the group box. So first of all, I'm gonna comment this out, else I will have an error. So let's go back in here and just save first. There we go, look at the total. So I also need to display the total values. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that is fine. Good. Now, we need to add where the total value will be displayed. Okay, this is where the total value will be displayed. Okay, so I've added that. I'm going to just comment that out and run it. Save and run first. So which will have the value of zero then look at the total is zero. Okay. So which means anytime you select any of this, it just tells you the, the score is added there. So that is fine. Get rid of that. And get rid of this as well. Okay. Now let's create on score change. So that's what I'm going to use to carry out all of the calculations. So right underneath here, I am going to take care of that. There we go, guys. So this is the function that I will use to take care of the whole calculation. Okay, it handles these core changes. Okay, that's what this one is going to do. Right. Now that that is done, I also need to take care of an update. So for the update, we need to create a function for that. So we call that, I just call it update here. And in there is going to be self, Intercom. So this update we calculate an update total for the given teams. Okay, each of the teams their total will be calculated. So let's just call that's going to be equals get. And that's going to be self comma the team here. Yeah, let's grab all of this. Is that in there? And underscore score. See underscore scores. Okay. Then now we are going to start the total. Total equals sum in an integer format. That we score get get whatever we have inside the combo box that is selected. I'm using for loop for score in scores. Now. Okay, so we now also need to get the total stored. So I'm going to grab all of all of these and just change it around. Paste and this will be total. Change this to total. So the team number. Team numbers total dots set convert that to we convert that to spring character and what are we converting that is the total there we go okay guys so let's try this out now I should be able to add up whatever value in there so let's see 
and before then have a good look at these lines of codes let's take it from here okay. bring it down so i'm going to save and run save let's run there we go and if i select whatever value in here there we go 25 it's another 25 let's see if we okay that's that's around 15 and so on look at it guys so i'm officially done with this so all that is left for me to do is to be able to reset and exit so you guys for those of you who has been watching my video or following me all along over the years you should be able to get that sorted so that is easy and we'll just take care of that very fast and that is it so that's how you create your own uh, tournament management system in python so let's take care of these two guys here so right underneath here i'm going to create a reset okay guys those are the lines of code for resets so once the system reset this one is called and replace all of these and this is the resets that will clear all of the system and here that is just for exits so i need to call all of, the, all of these functions inside the buttons so because if i run it now nothing is going to happen let's see nothing is happening you see that so let's call exits to, to call exit all you just need to do is you add command there, there we go so in here you can just maybe add it here or maybe come right underneath or now let's say command that is going to be equals self dot on exit so i've called the function for exit so i'm going to run that i run and if it works as expected there we go no i don't want to exit yes i do want to exit so that is the whole idea for this Okay, this will prompt you to confirm if you want to exit or not so if the value is zero then it destroys now let's call a function for reset this is for reset right so i'm going to go back up here and just grab let's say command let Comma. Paste that is going to be self dot reset. Copy of this command. So command equals self dot reset. So that's reset function and exit function taken care of now. I'm going to run that. First of all, save it first. There we go. Okay, decision time. So I will change this and let's see if it's going to work as I want. And that will be, that will be all. Let's see. I have to try it all out since it's the first time. One more. Okay. There we go. So it seems to have a draw. So let's click on reset. There we go. No, I don't want to reset. Click. Yes, I do want to reset. Look at that. So guys, you can always modify this, do whatever you like with it. And for you, for those of you who are my channel member and the guy that requested this, this is it. All done. And for the channel member, you can always sell uh, yes. Send me a message and we can send you one of these if you're a valid channel member. 
So with that guys, I'm going to call it the end of this brilliant tutorial. And please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel. In fact, it's about time I get to a million subscribers. It's taking too long. So guys, please subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. And you all have a nice day now. Bye for now.